This is Deb Fair with Four Seasons Crafts. We're gonna make a two-fold barn door bookmark card today. So um, we're gonna use some new uh, Stampin' Up! products out of the January through June 2021 catalog. And because it's Four Seasons Crafts, we're going to show you four different cards, one for each season, uh, using the same uh, template or fun fold. So we are going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to turn the camera down and we're going to start crafting together. All right. So here is the card that we are going to make today. And we're going to use some different paper, but I wanted to show you the layout first. So this again is called a double fold barn door bookmark card. And when you open it up there, is a nice bookmark right here that can be taken out and given as a gift. And then your card opens up into another fold. Isn't that cool? So two folds and a nice bookmark in the middle. So we are gonna go ahead and get started and make this card. And then I'm gonna show you some other examples at the end. So the set we're going to use let me pull this in so you can see is the snailed it set so we're going to use the stamp set and the dies as well as some of the twine and the resin hearts as well as the dsp and this is on page 55 of the january through june 2021 uh, catalog so it's this particular catalog just let me show you guys this oops right there and this is the one we're going to use so this is what you need let me pull in the paper that we're going to use. And I will have the measurements below, but they're also right here. So we're gonna use Blushing Bride as our cardstock, and you're gonna need a piece of 11 inch by four and a half inch, and you're gonna score it at five and a half. And then we're going to cut out this area between five and a half and two and one eight inches thick. You can see that and we'll actually go through doing that together so that's one piece you need then for the inside of the card you're going to need a piece of basic white cut at eight inches by five and one eighths inches and it's going to be scored at four inches then for the back three panels you're going to need a piece of cardstock cut at five inches and one and seven eighths and then that piece is cut into three smaller pieces. So if you cut this large piece, you can cut two of them at one and seven eighths by one and three fourths, and you'll cut two pieces. And then what is remaining will be one and seven eighths and one and a half inches. So that's that. And then the piece that's gonna fit on top of it, our designer series paper, you're gonna cut it at four and five eighths by one and three fourths. And then when you take that strip, you're gonna cut two pieces at one and five eighths by one and three fourths. And then the part that's remaining is one and three, one and um, three eighths by one and three fourths. Now, the part we get off the card is what we're gonna use these pieces here for. So this is for the decorative portions that are gonna decorate the front and back of our bookmark. And those are four inches by one and five eighths. And this can be anything. And you guys will see these can be scraps that you might have in your scrap bin. So that's what's perfect about this card is you don't need a lot of designer series paper. And then this we're gonna use to decorate that inside flap. So let me pull in the one I showed you earlier. We're gonna use it to decorate this. And then we'll need some um, white card stock to decorate or put a message on. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started on assembling our card. So I tried to cut everything in advance so it would be uh, a little quicker. So here we go. We're going to bring in our paper trimmer. And we are going to cut this. First, we're going to score it at five and a half. So we're going to line it up at five and a half and score it right down here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn our cardstock to two and one eighths. So we're gonna go to one eighth. And the great thing about our uh, paper trimmer is we can now go right over to five and a half here, which should also be right where our score line lines up. And then we are going to cut 
from five and a half up. And then we're already at two and one eighth over here. So now all we need to do is to, and remember as you're doing this, make sure you're always doing the top portion of your card. So again, now we're going to come over, we're gonna pick this up and we're gonna make sure that our score line is right in the center here or make sure you're at five and a half over here Okay, because that's where our score line should fall. And then you're going to need to bring your cutter at one. Oops, let's come up a little bit more here. One, two, and one eighth. And then you're going to go upwards. And then you should end up with a nice, even, oops, we went a little far on ours, but guys get the gist and now we have that nice barn door fold now the thing about this is you want to keep this piece of your cardstock so we're going to go ahead and put it in right now and the portion that we're going to need to cut for our bookmark is five inches by one and three four so you'll see this is five and a half that's a little bit longer than we need so we're gonna to go to five inches and we're just gonna take a small trim off there and we don't need that piece. And then we are going to cut it at one and three fourths. So one and three fourths is right here. So we're gonna take one and three fourths and we're gonna cut that. And we need both of these pieces. This we're going to use as our, to hold our bookmark. And then this is the actual bookmark itself. So we are done with our paper trimmer for now. So we're gonna move that out of, of the way. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take our bookmark and let's go ahead and punch it. So you can use, this is um, a topper, a bookmark topper. So we're gonna go ahead and take this and slide our uh, cardstock in the middle. Now, when we turn it over, we're gonna to wanna to line it up. Since this is a little smaller than the two inch piece of paper that goes in it, we're just gonna make sure it's even and then pop it right out. And now we're gonna end up with a really nice bookmark. Now this portion is the part that's going to go around our bookmark. And this is how I did it here. If you just lay this over top, kind of put it in the center, all you're gonna do is you're gonna just take your fingers is the easiest and you're going to wrap it around on one side. Now, for the other side, you're gonna to wanna to take this out just a small bit. And the reason is, is because you don't want it so tight because when you layer the cardstock, it's gonna be a little bit thicker and you're gonna want room to move it around. So move it out, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch, maybe a sixteenth. And then you're gonna take this portion and you're just gonna wrap it all the way around again. Line up the two sheets or the two um, flaps in the back and now we can take it off here and make sure that we get it nice and centered and you can burnish it here right on the edge and there we go and let's go ahead and finish our loop here and that way um, it, we can just set it kind of off to the side. So while we have it in our hands, we're gonna take some tear and tape and we are gonna put a small piece on the one side. And this is very, very strong. So that's what makes it uh, kind of nice to have. If you don't, you can easily use uh, Tombow glue or even the uh, stamp and seal would be, would be great as well. But we're gonna put a piece on the inside to close it and then we're gonna take another piece and put it on the back. And that's what we're gonna to use to actually seal it onto our card. So for now, we'll just layer it right here and that'll be good. Now we're just gonna set this off to the side. We'll take the bottom piece off here. And I probably need to get out my, take your pick tool, that really helps in, uh, in getting these off, but, all right, oops. And then, here we go. So we're gonna lay this 
flat on here. There we go. And we're just going to set it off to the side. Now we're going to take our, our bookmark and we're going to take our two halves that we had sitting here that are four inches by one and five eighths. And now we're going to glue these down on both sides of our bookmark. And this will add for a beautiful, fun decoration. So if you think of, um, and this is going to be a birthday card. So as you think about someone that you know, a child that would just love to open up a card and get a nice little display, how neat is that? All right, guys, have a little glue is not coming out, so we're just going to go ahead and use some snail adhesive here. And put this right down. We're just going to line it up on our card here. There we go. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the other side now. And this will be, there we go. And here we go. And there we are. So now we have both sides of our bookmark. So now what we need to put on here is our sentiments and um, some decorations. So what I did was I took some out of the snail uh, paper. Let me show you here. There are dies that you can actually use and you can put this right on the designer series paper and it will actually cut out the snails directly. So we're gonna put this little guy right here on our bookmark. Isn't he cute? And we're gonna see if we can get our, our glue out now. No, it's not gonna come out. That's all right. We will, we will just use our tape here. So we're gonna go ahead and put that right down here. And then on the other side, we're going to go ahead and um, stamp out a sentiment. So let's grab a piece of white cardstock that we can then put right here and put a sentiment. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this stamp set, Peaceful Moments, and there is a greeting down here wishing you every happiness this special day brings. And we're going to go ahead and take that and put it on one of our blocks here. And we're going to go ahead and use Bermuda Bay. I still have some of these older stamp sets, which if we have refills, they're working great, right? And we're going to go ahead and just stamp that right out on our piece of cardstock here. And there we go. Now, we don't need it quite so long, you can see. So we're gonna go ahead and trim the edges off of this. And bring in our paper trimmer again. And we're gonna take about a half inch off this side. off the other side and we'll see where we are guys after that here and look at that so that will fit just beautifully so on this side we have a nice little snail and on this side we'll put on our special greeting okay I'm going to show you guys a little trick here. As I look at this, I can see I am my wording is slightly crooked. Can you see that? So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take this piece of paper and I'm just going to tilt it. And it looks great. So we're going to do that. And we're going to get our tape here again. And we're just going to put that right on our 
bookmark now at a little bit of an angle. Now, when you're creating a bookmark, um, some of the things you, of course, want to remember, right? We don't really want to put uh, any kind of raised elements because when someone puts it in a book, right, they'll want to keep it nice and flat. But this would be great. You can make it, uh, give it to someone in your church for a Bible bookmark or, uh, you know, as kids read lots of books, this would just be a great, a great little gift. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some twine here, and now we're going to go ahead and run this through. So this can be the tip of our bookmark. And then let's go ahead and we'll just tie this particular one. And we'll make a couple knots. The nice thing is um, I've kind of doubled up the string here. And this twine comes in a uh, a multi-pack and this is part of the snail it set and it comes with whisper white and then blushing bride so it was it's great you can really add a lot of twine now we're going to take our snips here and we're just going to cut these And there we go. And now you have a nice little feathery bookmark. Now you might decide you might need an additional loop or you might need to do a different knot here if um, you have concerns. I'm just going to go ahead and double it up here. That way I just am sure that I am not going to end up with um, maybe parts that are coming off there. But you guys can see that makes for just a super cute. Now I think we'll put one other item here. Now this might be, it might be a little too big. So we will leave this just like that. And there's our bookmark. Now we're going to move on back onto our card. So this is the um, front of our card. And we're going to take our piece of Whisper White. And we are now going to glue this to the inside of our card here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and line that up and glue it in. Now I went ahead and took the center of this and decided I would um, go ahead and decorate it. So I will show you that here in just a minute. So now we're gonna take this and we are going to line it right up. And the thing I love about the Tombow, right, is we have a little wiggle room here. So you guys, when you get it to the place where it's lined up on the top and on the bottom, then you can go ahead and press it down a little more evenly. Bring it down just a hair here. There we go. All right. So here we go. So that's kind of the base of our card. And then when we open it up, now inside I've already stamped it and colored the image. And let me just show you again. I took this image, stamped image, and then I used these particular blends. So a little bit of Bermuda Bay, some Daffodil Delight, and I did not have Blushing Bride, so I used um, Petal Pink, and then of course Real Red. So similar colors to the Designer Series paper. So here we go. So now what we're ready to do is now we're going to take our pieces that we had of Blushing Bride that we needed to cut into three pieces, as well as our designer series paper. So now we're going to go ahead and cut those. And we're gonna bring this in. And so this one we're gonna cut into, uh, It's again, if you remember, it is one and seven eighths. And we are gonna cut two pieces as one and three fourths. 
another one at one and three fourths. And then again, whatever is remaining is our piece in the middle, which is one and a half. So we're gonna take those three and set those off to the side. And then this one, we're gonna cut, it is one and three fourths thick, and we're gonna cut it at one and five eighths. And one and five eighths is one and a half plus um, the next largest notch. And we're gonna do two of those. And again, whatever is left goes in the middle. All right, I'm gonna move that off to the side. And now we can take our pieces here that we have and we're going to glue these down. And you can see that this is basically what we're gonna end up with is three panels um, for the top layer. So we're gonna go ahead and glue these down. And put those right on top, line them up on our card. Now when we go to do that, you're gonna we're going to put the smaller one in the middle and then the two larger ones on the edge. So what I encourage you to do is to line up the two larger ones on the edges. And then that way, when you go to put the middle one down, you'll know exactly how much room you have to work with as far as to even them out, even out the borders. So here we go. So we're gonna take our, our cardstock now that's glued down and we are going to layer it right here. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your three and if you're using a pattern paper, just make sure you have everything going the same direction. Now I need to make sure that my middle one is gonna fit properly. Okay, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that middle one fits in there nicely with enough space. And we still have a little bit of a border left. Okay, you guys see that? So as you look at that middle card, you'll see there's a little bit of space. So we have a very, very shallow border and you'll see that here. There's not much of a border and we have little lines in between. So we're gonna go ahead and glue down our first one on the edge here. Oops. And probably not good to have the card underneath there, right guys? Here we go, we'll get that right off there. All right, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it right on the edge. Okay, so we want a very small, thin border. And then again, we're gonna do the really, the next one, and we're gonna make sure we put a small border on the other side. And again, we wanna line it up so that we have the same amount of border and thickness on both sides. So we don't want too much. And then we have room for our middle one right here. Okay, and again, if you, um, this one, I might just trim just a hair. It might have been a little too much over on one side. There we go. Okay, so here we go. We'll put this one down now. And there you have it. So we have our three panels now at the top. And the other thing you'll notice is when you put this down, you should have a little border um, at the bottom. And I'm gonna show you guys some other ones that I, that I created and uh, I didn't have a border. I made them a little, uh, a little taller. Instead of them being one and seven eighths, I made them two inches because I like that measurement better. However, uh, I think I like it better when you can see that you can see that line. So there you go. Isn't that adorable? All right, now we're gonna go ahead and decorate the front of our card. And then we will, or actually I'll tell you what, let's do this first. Before we do that, we are gonna decorate the inside here of our flat panel. And I just took another piece of designer series paper. So if you wanna decorate the inside flap, it's not something you have to do, but it's gonna be one and three fourths by five and a quarter 
of DSP. And that's all I'm gonna put here. And we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna tie more mushrooms into this card. And we're just gonna turn this around and glue it right down here in the middle because we still want a lot of that pretty pink showing through. So there we have it. All right, now we're gonna decorate the front before we put our bookmark in so that we have um, room. So again, I mentioned this is a birthday card. So we are gonna take using the double heart punches and that's these two right here. And what's great is they layer right over top of each other. So there's this one here, does the larger, and then this one is the one for the sentiments. So now we're gonna take this and we are just gonna glue this heart right down. And then to tie in the other side, we're gonna do a second heart. And I'm gonna show you where we pulled in the sentiments from. So again, this was a birthday card. So the sentiments that came here, they're super cute, but I didn't really find that they went with the birthday. So I actually brought in peaceful moments and used the happy birthday here, as well as from the many messages, and I know you guys all know, right? This is one big, large stamp. And what I actually pulled in was just this one portion. So I took my ink pad and I just inked this one piece up. This is where the nice little ink spots come in handy, but you can just ink that one spot there. And I was, and I pushed it down on some paper and that gave me this. So just because it's a one big, huge stamp doesn't mean you can't use it individually. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to put this right here and we are going to glue this one down and then we're going to decorate around it. So we're going to have it go a little bit above um, and we're maybe put it just like that in the center. So when you glue this down, you'll want to make sure you only do the portion that you want glued down on your paper. You want to make sure the glue doesn't go any higher. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to do it halfway and we're gonna make sure we center it in the middle of our card here. Isn't that cute? And now we're gonna take another one. We have a few little of these little envelopes that came right from the Snailed It. You will see in here that there is this super cute die. And when you cut it out, this particular one here, it will actually form an envelope and the small one in the middle is a small letter. And that's where these two items came from. So we're gonna glue that down. And then we have another snail that we're gonna put here. And that's gonna be the decorations for the outside of our card. So we're gonna go ahead and glue this envelope down. I mean, what? Little boy or girl would not love to get this, right? And then this one, let's put up on dimensionals. That'd be cute. Let's go ahead and put on some dimensionals and we'll put this right down on our card. And look at that. And then now we're going to turn it over and we have this extra heart. And what we're going to do is we're going to layer it right over top of the other one. And that's going to be another really cute surprise. So these were super easy to make. You just had to punch them out. It's the great thing, right, about punches. You don't really need to get out your embossing machine, but... And we're just gonna line the tops of those and the bottom part will just go all by itself. But it's gonna give your card a nice 
little bit of, um, of thickness and sturdiness there. So there we go. Isn't that cute? All right. Now let's go ahead and put in our bookmark and then we'll finish it off with some of these little hearts. So now if you remember, we're going to bring in our small piece here and we are going to put it right in the center. So we're going to make sure our card is lined up. We'll use our grid paper for that. And we're going to layer this right there in the middle. So we're going to take our backing from our... And we are just going to position it right in the center. Now, one of the things, too, you're going to want to be um, mindful of is put it down. When you put it in the center, you want it centered this way. Um, but you'll want it closer to the bottom. And, I'll, and the reason is, is because when we close our card, now granted there's this is also here, but we want to make sure it doesn't show at the top of our card. And there you have it. And now you can take your nice bookmark and just slide it right inside that little holder. And there you have it. And what an adorable card. Now, you are going to see this string because I doubled it and then I put a big knot in it. It's a little, it causes it to be a little raised here. So you might find you want to stick it out or you might, and I'm going to show you some other ones that are um, not so uh, high up. And then of course, when you open it, you have all this area here to write a nice greeting um, or message to the person that you're giving it to. Now, the last thing we're gonna do is we are going to use our take your pick tool and we are gonna take some of those nice little resin hearts and we are gonna decorate the outside. And these are super cute and they go with certainly the um, colors here on the card. So we're gonna take and put in a couple little red hearts here in different places on our card and then we'll take a couple white ones and do the same maybe we'll put one up here and another one maybe right over here and there we go and isn't that adorable and that's it. And you can show either side of your bookmark, whatever one you think would be cuter. If you want to save the message, you can certainly, we could have it show just this little, our little snail guy here. And there you have it. Now let me go ahead and show you some other ones um, that I made as well with um, some of the same uh, concepts. So we already went through, here's this one here. So this is kind of our a little summer one spring with our snails. Here's another summer one. And this one you'll notice, and this one has a lot of messages about faith and a Bible verse here. This one you'll notice I put inside the lid. This was one of the first ones that I created. And I also, if you can tell, used that Subtle's embossing folder, which was absolutely beautiful. So this one has the bookmark inside the lid. And that works really, really well, too. And you'll see I made it a little tighter on this one. Um, the ribbon is pretty thin. So you'll see, I just want to show you, this one creates a little bit more thickness where this one's much more thin. So you just have to decide. If you're going to mail it, you might want to stick with the lesser ribbon. That's just like this one. You'll notice the it's very, very thin. All right. Uh, the next one we have is one for Christmas that you could give. And again, this gives us a great way too, right? We can make the card and do some of our Christmas stamps. So this was fun. And again, putting the bookmark here in the, um, in the lid and open it up. And then on this one, I put a piece of designer series paper on the top and just stamped it there at the bottom. So I thought that one was really cute. But you'll notice, see how there's not much white right here? So this again is just the difference of which one you might wanna go with. This one has a little bit of a white border right there, this one does not. And then we have one more for fall, and that's this one here. Again, just using a punch, couple little leaves, and then when you open it up, 
has the bookmark here. This one I used a little ribbon and a little twine. And then put a greeting right here on the piece of white cardstock. So you don't need to have a lot of extras. And then decorated the inside. So lots of choices um, for you to use this particular uh, kind of fun fold. But I hope you enjoy it. And thanks for watching. I'll have all the measurements down below. Bye.